we are vessels of grace, but a kind of a vessel that is described by Paul as vessels made of clay. That is our the characteristic of this vessel. It is breakable, of the link, Say it is made of earthen vessel that it can easily break. So it is an image of um, the community that we are of God's people, but the community where we we hold as our treasure Jesus. That's why we become vessels of grace because within us and among us is the presence of Jesus. But at the same time. At the same time, we find ourselves, we recognize ourselves as wild vessels of grace, vessels who are also weak and fragile or fragile. Madalin Masira. Kasi, we also recognize we are sinners. We are graced, but we are also sinners. And that, I think, describes to us the challenge that in our own weakness, in our own poverty, in our own brokenness, still we can become vessels wherein God's presence is experienced. The grace, we become vessels of grace. So it's beautiful. It can be beautiful, but it will require tremendous faith to recognize in the midst of our weaknesses, in the midst of our own difficulties, sometimes we get discouraged easily, but in the midst of that, we can be channels of grace. And indeed, why? Because we believe what makes us grace is not exactly what we are doing, like the fruit of our own work, but it is the presence of the Lord within, in all of our work, and in all of our relationship, in all our encounter, it is the Lord. So the key is to find in us the presence of this Lord. The fact of our gathering together, as happened with Jesus, when two or three are gathered in my name, I am there. Again, when we come together, may we find in this an occasion to thank the Lord for using us to be the vessels by which His grace touches the lives of many others. Because we are sure many people are searching where and how in heaven's name am I going to get out of the rock I'm in? Where will I find you? And you are the vessels of grace. But realizing may of clay. But don't worry, God can even use, especially if we acknowledge we are of clay, that's all that God wants. We acknowledge, hindi ko kaya, Lord, eh. Therefore, kung hindi mo kaya, buksan mo ang iyong puso at ang iyong isip, ang iyong pagkatao. Para the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord will come and fill you with His presence and be the one as you go out, as you tell your story, as you share your experiences. But that the Lord will use all those so that He can touch many other people. What grace and what blessings we are. Amen? Amen. In the spirit of this wow blessed experience, let us continue as we offer all the needs of the world, the needs of our companions, the needs of our country. As we go through all these difficulties, we bring that to the Lord that He may use all of these so that they can become vessels of grace. Amen. We'd like to express our deepest appreciation for Bishop Jesse Mercado, the Diocese of Paranaque. <laughs> Holy Rosary Irish in San Valley.